ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn <laughs> and a new day. Look at that view. We've got jet skis cruising around. We've got them sitting up on the beach. We've got people doing a yoga class. We've got people playing chess. Oh my Lord. Look at this. <laughs> Can you understand why I really didn't want to miss my flight and I wanted that Esther? Because this well and truly is paradise. All right, less of a potato Tom later. Welcome to breakfast. A quick stop off on the elevator later. You are downstairs in this huge ass room looking gorgeous where you've got a massive selection of a buffet that you can help yourself to for like $25, which is really not bad priced. Look at all this. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. Ooh. Wow. If the look of all that food's not good enough, you want a fresh local coconut? <laughs> I, d I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to dive in. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So it's either you start with some cereal, some pastries, some cakes. Oh. <laughs> but you come outside to an absolutely gorgeous outlook of the gardens. Oh, and if you don't want something from the buffet, you've got an entire menu that you can order from as well. And again, this looks pretty damn good. Whoa. I feel like I've come to the wrong neighborhood. Listen, dude, you ain't taking my bread. My holiday has just been made perfect. A little Tabasco, because my brother calls me Tabasco, and I'm little. Oh. Jerk chicken scrambled. Mm. Well, I can confirm that was a very good breakfast. Oh, oh. oh this is exactly what I've come for. Peace and relaxation and lizards i want to find a lizard all right moment of truth is it warm oh it's actually kind of cold to be honest oh with a stomach full of food it's time to get eaten by a shark welcome to paradise oh these guys look like they're staring at something they're me wait oh is there a stingray i think there's a stingray just swimming along wow in some dope news already, I've just booked on for tomorrow morning at 7.30 to get picked up by a car, drive to a boat, I know it's all weird because there's the water, but get picked up and then to go on a snorkeling stingray starfish adventure for three hours. <laughs> we can get out here to look at Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, this one's just got to start pointing at it, taking photos. Yeah. Before you know, the security will be over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a log. My plan of action for the rest of the day is to chill and do absolutely nothing. Cut to me on a jet ski. <laughs> All right, I'm already on the hunt and on the adventure to find some flippers. And if I'm right in saying so, this is where I was, wa wait, is that a cat? Why, why is there a cat? <laughs> but this is where I was watching the Super Bowl last night. What a spot, what an absolute spot. I think this may be, aha, this may be the destination I need to be going to for uh, flippers. Thank you. Now you see, this is exactly what I need. So for when I'm swimming, I'm not burning my shoulders because I'm constantly going to be snorkeling and looking in the water. So this is perfect, a rash guard. And I got a white one. So when I do get a tan, I look more brown. <laughs> I'm like probably the only person in the world who would go on a holiday and then buy clothing to wear to not get burned. Like, trust me, when I was last out here, I did so much snorkeling, of which I intend to do, but I didn't wear a top, so my shoulders were red raw by the end of it, so I'm not doing that this time. Well, that turned out insanely successful. I, you know, like when you go to any like hotel or anything, you know, like how you get to like the room and then the water's like $8,000 in the room and stuff like that. It, it makes no sense. You, you pay good money to stay at a good hotel, but then, you know, you feel like you have to pay loads of money for it. Well, no. This is included. And then, uh, and then he was like, yeah, yeah, all non-motorized activities you can do for free. So he was like, the boats, the kayaks, the paddle boards. If I wanted to just go on it, I can just go over because I'm a member of the hotel. I can just go out on it. How sick is that? So you better know I'm taking you for a ride and you for a ride later on. Oh yeah. Now the reason why I didn't rent one of their masks off them or get one for free is because my mask has got a GoPro mount on the top of it. So if I see something, record it, 
Got it, and I've got my hands free. A bit of a struggle later, done it. Look at that. I found treasure at sea. Mm. Well, that was a pretty good dive, but I think I've discovered a problem with my GoPro. Every time I was underwater, after I'd click record, I kept hearing beeping. So I think somehow the water keeps touching the screen and changing the settings whilst I'm under there. Because when I returned, I thought I filmed the clip, but it just took a photo instead, so I could I. And by the way, Alice, sister, if you see this, look at these freckles. Oh, those gazelle freckles. Oh, yeah, I'm getting it on. Oh, yeah, I'm burning. Yeah, this GoPro situation is not looking good. It's completely frozen on me. <laughs> I cry. However, I did find sunken treasure out there. So, that's a win. However, kind of... Oh, thanks, man. Perfect timing after getting out. Got myself a, a rum drink. Oh, yeah. But basically, I found treasure and then left it there. I attached it onto a floating bar, so if no one goes out there and it was theirs, they can find it, collect it, and take it back. Oh, that is dunk. And voila, dinner is served. Chicken quesadilla on a beach. Oh. Right, you know, like when you get on a plane, you get given like a hot towel to wash your hand with. Well, the guys just walked around handing out cold towels for you to wash your hand and your face with. Oh my god, that smells so nice. However, that's now just removed all my sun cream, so I'm a bit of an idiot. Well, my open glasses lasted a whole less than 10 hours here. The only thing is, while I was down on the bottom for the last 20 minutes looking for it underneath the boy that I've been on, um, I did a t another test, because when I first did it, I put it in and it sank just to test like, the behaviour of it. I then tested it again, and it floated all the way to the top. So for the 20 minutes I've been looking for it, God knows where it is, or if it's like washed ashore or something, but I think it's gone, ladies and gentlemen. But Zach, thank you very much for your help, man. What a legend. So yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, you know, it is what it is, but pretty good to say. The sea has ransacked my Oakleys. I, I, I slid off there to just like, casually go whoosh, into the water. And as I did it, I came up and was like, why aren't why my glasses going back on my face properly? And then I realized it was an arm missing, but I did happen to pick the see-through armed Oakleys. So the only thing I can think of doing is keep walking up and down the beach in the hopes that it gets washed up, but I highly doubt that I'm gonna find them, so. But in other news, you know I said I'm going on a boat thing tomorrow. That is what I'm going on. And I'll be going to um, a place where they've got stingrays and a place where you can just pick up like a massive, massive starfish out the ground, out the, out the sea, so should be pretty cool. <sighs> But time to spend the next one hour walking up and down this beach, hoping to find a see-through <laughs> glasses arm with the word Oakley written on it. <sighs> I do not have high hopes. I do not have high hopes at all. The squad rolling down the beach. Um, I've managed to actually do a pretty good job of not like burning myself on my arms, apart from... <sighs> yeah, see this leg? Yeah, I accidentally burnt my foot, so, oh dear. All right, I've got a score to settle with this guy right now. Listen, you wake me up at seven o'clock in the morning, all right? I'm gonna kick the living shit out. What are you doing? We're in a Caribbean island and there's a cock on the beach. Like, th this guy's legitimately just cruising on through. Crate, oh, uh, you know what? I think it might be some bit on my nose. Oh dear, that's not, oh, uh oh. Oh, oh dear, that's not, that's not good. But anyway, last time I was out here, I got told that there was chickens that were like in a farm on the island and then there was a massive like hurricane and it ruined the farm and the chickens got scattered everywhere across the island. So now chickens run rampantly wild throughout the Cayman Islands. Don't know how true that is, but I got told it, so it must be. Well, I got the flippers from there. I walked them down here and I dropped them off inside here. And if you're questioning if I'm actually burnt, here's a white wall and here's my face. Damn, son. Damn, son. Damn. Wait, I can't believe I saw this place getting built and how gorgeous it's come together. Like, that's a, that's a pretty nice, that's a goddamn nice building. Oh, I don't know where my glasses are. 
I'm my viewing glasses. Today's not been a good day for <laughs> breaking or losing stuff. But I brought a spare, so let's not panic. Um, just one point for this hotel. If someone could have told me 15 hours ago that they had sunscreen, sunscreen, and then aloe vera on deck, I might not be in the situation I'm in now, but I've bottled up a little bit of aloe vera to take, take, <laughs> to, take to the room with me, so <laughs> cheers. Home sweet home, take me through to the room with a view. Wait, this guy, what? what? Whoa, what am I watching? These guys are having jet ski wars. He literally just tilted the jet ski and shot him in the face. Go on then. Oh, look, what? <laughs> this is mint. Well, I weren't expecting to see that being an outcome of today. I almost got on that, by the way, but I ended up wasting like, do you know why I'm burnt? I spent an hour looking for my sunglasses arm, which in the end I didn't find, so. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, take a seat. Let's talk. So, today has been good to me. I've successfully lost my arm for my glasses, but found these. So that's good. And if you come with me, I'm hoping my backup sunglasses are in here. Wait, I'm pretty sure I just zipped it closed. Oh yeah! Everyone always says to me, Tom, why'd you buy more Oakleys? Because you've got so many pairs. <laughs> Things like this happen. So ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Definitely prefer these. Like definitely prefer these, but unless I find out there's an Oakley store in the island, I don't think I'm gonna walk around like this all day, so. <laughs> but day one of being in the Cayman Islands, I'm so happy I'm back. And even more so, crazy series of events. The homies that I was hanging out here last time with, who were like people who worked at the bars and restaurants and like the DJs and stuff like that, you know, cause you know me, I speak to everyone and anyone. Lo and behold, some of them still live out here. I posted that I was here and he was like, Tom, let's get together and get a drink. So hopefully in the week, I'm gonna go out for food and drinks with them and um, party up in the Cayman Islands of which someone's ringing my hotel room. What's going on? Hello. I'm all right, how are you doing? Um, I just got a message from my team down at the dive shop. Um, let me know that the north sound goes so far in the morning. Uh, we don't have enough numbers uh, for the people, so no. unfortunately it's been canceled. Uh, oh, we don't have enough people to do it for tomorrow, so it's been canceled. Okay, so the one I wanted to do is not available anymore, which was the stingrays, the snorkeling, and then the starfish. Exactly, yeah. And what else, what, what's the other one available? What, what, so what's the, the alternate, alternative one? Uh, well, if you'd like, we can still do the same tour uh, in the afternoon, though, which would be from 1.15 to 4.45. Okay. Or uh, we also have another morning one. Uh, the morning kind of works out for you better, called Breakfast with the Rays, right? It's quite similar. It's the two spots, the same one as the North Sound Nico Safari. Uh, it's Stingray City and also the Coral Gardens, right? So it does not see the starfish. Oh, okay. <sighs> My day's falling apart. I've gone from breaking glasses, losing glasses, to then unfortunately, if you didn't if you didn't get the gist of that, there needs to be six people on this boat trip thing tomorrow, and me counting as one, we need to fill the rest of the spot. So it would be winner winner chicken dinner if a lot of people like signed up to it. And the place is busy. Like the place is really busy. But unfortunately, not enough of these down here have signed up to go and do the the three point adventure that i'm supposed to be doing tomorrow so it's cancelled until further notice i'll try and rebook it again tomorrow because i i'm not too sure like if i want to do the the breakfast one going off adventuring and doing that so i'll just wait i'll see and if a better idea comes along we'll go with it because we ain't getting stressed out guys we're on holiday look we're chilling we're chilling like a villain for some reason I've got a feeling this guy's about to GTA that, that jet ski <laughs> on the land. He's taken a moment to drop his friend off at the other jet ski so he can also GTA it onto the land. These guys are just absolutely sending it out there. 
Holy crap, God, it looks so satisfying from above. Wait, <laughs> I was gonna say, yo, that guy's banging it, Christ, on a pancake. Go on, the boy. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is legit like something out of Grand Theft Auto. Go on, the boy. <laughs> That's min. They're clearly riding them onto the land so they can put them away, but it just seems so out of place taking it from the ocean to the land in such an extreme way. It takes me back to the good old days of GTA. Bruh, even the cleaners have organized the desk to the point where they've rolled up my wires. That is amazing. I didn't need it, but thank you. From dusk till dawn, look at that for a sunset view in your hotel room. <laughs> Seriously, I've been to a lot of places in the world, but I can never say I've been somewhere with such a spectacular view of a sunset from your hotel room. The Kimpton Seafire, Cayman Islands, thank you so much for making this happen. This hotel was sold out online, like sold out. All the other hotels in the area were getting sold out and I reached out to the team and Emily, shout out to Emily, um, was like, we can make this happen and was just an absolute legend. So I can't express how thankful I am and uh, how thankful I am now knowing that tomorrow there's sun cream downstairs that I can use at every five second interval because I am very burnt. Thank you so much. I've honestly had the, the biggest daily, day of failure ever. So thank you very much for reminding me I left that behind. Thanks, man. All the best. Bye-bye. You know the whole I'm trying not to sunburn thing and I look as, <laughs> as red as a beetroot. Well, the long sleeve top I bought to stop me from burning, I left it down <laughs> on the sunbeds. And they just rang me saying like, hey, just to let you know, you've left it behind. So, yo, service here. He's banging because like where you stay at your um, where you stay down at your like seating area you put your hotel number on it or it's assigned to your hotel room um, and because it's assigned to it anything that gets left there they bring it back to you so thank, thank you and there you have it ladies and gentlemen the sun is finally setting on the horizon I appreciate it my nice one I had no idea <laughs> Like, uh, I, I was outside on the deck just watching the sun go down because look, the sun is about to set. Like, legit, look at it. The sun is just about to vanish. And because the guy was ringing the doorbell, but I didn't hear it because I was out there, they ran the front desk and they were like, hey, just to let you know, the other guy's outside delivering your, your, your shirt that you left down there. Like, mate, the service at this hotel is next level. Thanking you. And just like that, I think it's gone below. The clouds way off in the horizon and it is done. Day one in the Cayman Islands, completed it. <laughs> 7.30 is great. Yep, that's right. Thank you so much. All the best, bye-bye. Bye. So that, so that was a phone call. Wait, are they still there? Hello, sorry, <laughs> press the wrong button. So. That was a phone call being like, hey, did you get your robe to your room? Because I didn't have like a robe, you know, like shower robe that you put on because I, if I get out of the shower, I was like walking around book naked here. But as I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh. She said, have you got any more questions? And I said, yeah, is there a wedding going on? And she said, no, that's our island fest. And I was like, what the hell is that? And he was like, oh, well, it's like, um, they'd like they have a fire, they have fire displays and stuff like that and food being served down there near the coast as the sun's setting. So it's going on from six till nine and in an hour's time, I'm going to go down there and check it out. So I have reservations for Island Fest. I think I might just start booking this in as an annual trip for me to come. Like three years ago, this was the most magical thing in the world. And I know you never want to like overdo something. And I know I look like a mad professor, by the way. But like, I just love this place. As a British citizen, I think it, I think it actually works out pretty easy for me to work out being able to live here. So the fact that I live in the UK rather than here, passing up views and locations like this, I have no idea why I haven't moved yet. 100,000 like ratings, I'm moving to the Cayman Islands. Edna, Edna, he's finally, he's back again. I think you're still sleepy. Yeah, Edna, Edna's back and she's here to do the turn down service. Edna, this, don't, please, whatever you do, do not throw this away. No, I know. Aloe vera. Yeah, do you want more? We can give you more. I'll take as much as you've got. Yes. Look how burnt I am. I've been here one day. You're lucky because today is not very hot. Today wasn't hot. It was hot. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This really <laughs> I don't know about that one. She was so lovely. She was like, I believe you are a vlogger. I was like, yeah, I am. I'm a vlogger. And she was like, she was like, you're very popular. I was like, maybe. <laughs> but no, for real, um, when she saw my face, she was like, oh, you're so bad. You're not I'm so black. I was like, I did. I just didn't put enough of it on. And then I showed her the aloe vera and as you saw, hopefully she brings me an industrial amount. If I could fill the entire bathtub with aloe vera and just sit in it, I would. I know we've already seen this in the nighttime, but come on. Look at it. It's just magical. Look at this. Mate, I'm absolutely... You know, I'm almost tempted to relight that for them. But look at this magicalness. All the way down to the festival. Oh, nice. Oh, this is pretty magical. And that looks like they're ready to do some fire breathing. And... Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, I think I just secured the best seat in the house. She's about to start spinning some fire. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> Just to think, I was in my hotel room right there a minute ago. I know, but a fire display. Oh! Copyright. This guy's a little wizard. Just think, if I didn't see this from my room, I probably wouldn't have come down here. What a man! The music's amazing! Oh. Time to ransack this uh, buffet. Okay, I'm, I'm clearly doing this backwards because these desserts look nuts. That's it, man, how you doing? Okay, this looks good. I'm definitely in the wrong place. Salad bar, not exactly for, what is it? Not exactly for me, but oh, that looks nice and fresh. Oh, is that, is that, is that paella? Oh, pasta station, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh smoked vegetables. Wahoo! Whoa! Wait, what? That's tuna? Okay, fresh catch. Okay, spice plantains. Oh, that moth just completely landed in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks pretty goddamn good. And what's this over here? Pin. Whoa. What is this? Whoa, I've never tried that before. I'm definitely gonna try some of that and some of this. Oh my god, that. That's, can I have some of that, sir? Please. That looks good. Oh my god. That chicken. This chicken. <laughs> so good. A feast with a view. What? That looks nuts. Free! Wow, that is cool. I'm back. I'm gonna tell you something. I am very, very full, <laughs> but my friend, <laughs> you are about to meet your maker, so plate me up, mother So Wahoo, what's that one? The same. Oh, is Wahoo, it? Wahoo, but black and then spice. Oh, black and then spice and then salt and pepper. Yeah. Ooh, I'm having some of that. This has probably been the best Cayman find I've ever found. Apart, apart from obviously Ron. Ron, if you're watching this, I wish you were there. Oh, here, sorry. But yo. Look at this food. Oh my god. <laughs> that pay I am. Pay I I I I I I I tell you something though, that is spicy. And um, just to clarify, this is a drink. This is my face. This is my drink. This is my face. Yes, they're the same color. And now they're starting a salsa class. The last time I was in the Cayman Islands, I did a salsa class. Like I went down to a bar where I knew they did salsa. Yep, still done. Um, and, I, and I kept up with it like so well, so well, so well. I did about like 30% of the class. And then all of a sudden it just goes into overdrive and the dancing just goes out of this world. And I couldn't keep up and I just got left in the dirt. So I don't know if I want to do it again because I am so very full. I feel very fed right now. But there's still room for dessert. Back at it again with the salsa classes. <laughs> it's not going well. 
I really messed up with the whole burn with the whole burning of the ankles thing, ladies and gentlemen. Look how red raw they are. I'm starting to think that the amount of aloe vera upon my face has paid off, but I'm literally blending into the carpet. Whoa. Hold the phone. There's a note in my house. What does this say? Mr. Cassell, your water bottle is inside the fridge with aloe vera. Oh my gosh. The woman we saw earlier brought me aloe vera. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's a keeper. And she said she brought me a water bottle. Oh my God. She's killed it. What a woman. Cayman Islands day one. It has been absolutely real. I've done nothing <laughs> but just drink rum punch after rum punch after rum punch to the point where it start, <laughs> it's time to start drinking water because this, this sunburn is not going to heal itself without healing with aloe vera and hydration. So, ladies and gentlemen, pray for me. It's only... 10 to 11 right now, but it's currently 4 a.m. in the UK. So I'm a very, 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 very tired Tom. So guys, I'm gonna thank you for watching today's vlog. It's been a blast. Unfortunately, like you heard, the trip tomorrow got canceled in the morning. So I don't have to get up at 7 a.m., which is a win, but I need to now create a plan B because that got canceled. So Whatever we do tomorrow will be amazing. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the support on the videos as always. You guys have been amazing. And I just can't wait to share the rest of this adventure with you guys. So until tomorrow at 7pm, much love to your faces and adios.